side. Uh, well, I think the thing is, you also don't have a huge amount of engage on the side of Fnatic. I was wondering something like a Gragas for the disengage and then let the Zeri yeah. really open up. Orn gives you a bit more engage, gives you follow-up as well with the Zeri and the Yumi chasing in. So I like it in the composition. Let's not forget that he was benched on that Vitality roster. There were questions around how good he Woo! was and how competitive he could be here in the LEC. But now back-to-back, -back, he's fighting for top three here in the LEC. Different echelon to how he has been playing during the regular season. Maorang has struggled a little bit to have the impact that he would usually like, but maybe he's able to have it here up towards the top side. Inferno Chain's gonna land, Wonder has to flash away, otherwise he'd be dragged back and the chase is on. Maorang and Odo play first blood in Malmo. Maorang with the wave state in top lane, Odoan may once again showing a lot of respect. And it's one of those things where in an environment like this, where the pressure is at its highest, with the crowd behind you, or sometimes even against you, sometimes this is where the jitters can get to you, but when you have two veterans in the top lane like Wonder and Odo, you see how focused they are as Humanoid now looks to go all in. Awesome though, one man, I don't know if he has Spirit Oh my here. god! Humanoid with the chase! Oh, oh, oh. Spirit Rush flash! Humanoid claims the kill in the middle! That early Herald, Rogue. Potentially looking for a cross map here with the dragon, but don't feel confident right now. Yeah, we just saw Larson's ult in mid to try and get a pick onto Humanoid. Looks like Razrock's gonna face check here, and needs to be careful. Just has a pressing guard, gonna use it, knock up the season map, season assist. Maron getting chased down as well, shot on the way, over by Humanoid. Yeah. And for the second time, Humanoid finds the kill in the mid lane. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, the corner coming out as Upset tries to dash and dodge away. Trimby healing himself up, but Upset still very healthy in this trade. Chain CC wasn't good enough there by Rogue. They got the Q, they got the ult, but the ult came out from Razrock just in time to stop Larson's damage. That's why Razrock. Uh, Malrang had to flash away so quickly, but now it's Rogue's bot lane who might be in trouble. They might drop the Herald here to get upset a couple of plates. Mid lane's already ahead, two kills, get your other carry some gold. Humanoid is just on form right now, he's looking for an engage. Decides not to overcommit, he knows the tower is close. <laughs> oh, but the damage is good, Humanoid doesn't have flash, Larson does. He kill him here. But he's gonna force him away from the tower at the very least. He's gonna look to get himself a play, hits him with the emote once again. Humanoid is... Where are your next steps? Like, how do you start fighting back against Fnatic? Because all three of well, only top lane really won, but even there, there's a CS lead for Wonder. Oh, that's fallen apart to a point where Larson and Malrang need to cover, but not ideal. I think they're gonna have to wait for the next neutral or a pick. Full flash is coming up for Fnatic, though. Herald's crashing. <laughs> oh, five kicks off. Fight's gonna happen. The final chapter coming out as well. And there is the killing speed for Humanoid. Three kills to the good now as Malrang falls. The stolen tide away from Humanoid will chase them away. The Rift Hell charged in. Thank you, crowd, for the cheers on that one as the tower falls as well. Just Fnatic like are 3,000 gold ahead. CP's yeah. coming up in around 10, 15 seconds. Odoamne's around. Pomp's on midway. This will be gone, but they could look for the fight if they can find someone split off. Wonder's on his way across as well. We'll see as Maorang goes forward. Smite secured by Razor. But now the final chapter's going to turn it around. Maorang does still have the flash to try and get away. The stopwatch used. Call of the Portrait coming out as well by Wonder. Sees the assist on towards Wonder as well. But on the back line, it's Humanoid separated from the rest of the team. Hillisang's going to Try and heal him up with the Yumi on top of his shoulders. Odo trading in, but Humanoid's just too damn tanky. You just can't take him down in the end. The Orb of Deception from the Swede himself, Larson, will get Rogue on the ball. Follow with worst case anyway. He would be dead, the fight would be over, but because he can ult, uh, stop watching and ult and flash the side. Odo? Wonder what was falling. Uh, split fight towards the top side. Yeah, exactly that is. Rogue now looks for a cross map in the top side. That's what they need. They need gold right now. They don't really want to fight over neutrals. The Herald can inevitably give gold. They lost that. Fighting this dragon would be a Rogue are running out of time, though. They're up against a comp of Fnatic with Orin, Zeri, Yumi. Yeah. Yeah. So much scaling when it comes to these team fights. This next dragon has to be contested by Rogue, and they have to win it if they want to stay in this game. All right, looking for Humanoid. Final chapter coming out. There's a cease and desist. Stopwatch going to stop them for the moment. Zonia's coming out the charm as well. Conan going in, but Fnatic now looking for the fight. Razzle on the front line with Odo one. They're trying to trade blows. Call of the Portugal's gonna hit onto Maowang. The knockup coming in as well. Wonder with a perfectly placed knockup there will get one, and that's the second for Fnatic. They find two, and Rogue get nothing. Razzle still looking for the chase, but can't find any more as Rogue are forced to walk away. There's no big objective on the map, but Fnatic can look to secure this mid tier one. Another big fight from Fnatic, and a great stopwatch comes out from Humanoid to buy time for the rest of his team to turn the fight in their favor. Fnatic once again coming out on top. And their reward will be this mid tier one. Maorang thought he could. Find that pick onto Humanoid, but it's a stopwatch that changes the entirety of the fight and Wonder just really great follow-up and follow-through alongside Razork. There's really no damage for Rogue left when they're so split. Upset. It's in with the Ultra Shot! Oh. Flash forward, zap him to death! Upset looking for two under the tower, the double for him! And Fnatic are wiping Rogue off the rim. Fnatic feel at home in this environment. The plays, the confidence, they are just dominating their opposition. Upset's been in arenas this big in the past. Wonder's been at MSI finals and won the damn thing. Hillisang too. And now Fnatic are looking for a little bit more up towards this top side. Razzle 
Thought he was caught, but he's just not. They can't take anyone down. Oh, Chance we have, though. Beautiful to play it here. Onto Upset. He'll be shut down here. That's not going to dash away to Humanoid, but importantly, the shutdown goes to Trimby. Small blunder there by the Dragon. They're just going to run away with it. I think Rogue have to contest this. They have to find a fight. Maybe Auto Amne can look for a flank. Malran can look for a pick. Humanoid still has a file. He's into Sis going in. Hit a sang there as well. And Larson just doesn't get an opportunity to move. He is locked down and sent back to the fountain. And Fnatic will get counter behind Larson. He's looking to bring the score 19 to 19. And he's looking to shut down his rival once more. I mean, this Silas is going to be a very big problem for Rogue moving forwards in this series. Something they need to think about. I mean, even both parries of Fnatic stepping up right now and showing up in this game one. Wonder might be in trouble here. Otto Amni with the Black Cleaver with the side lane. There's the TP, though. Otto Amni is going to pop the World Ender to try and get away from this one. Can dash across the wall. Can't see the timer on that as he flashes. Even though they're still looking for the chase here. Counter TP, but look at how deep that is. Larson is so far away from the rest of the team. Final chapter up towards the top side of the fight. Meanwhile, down towards the bottom side, Otto Amni facing off against two members of Fnatic. Humanoid and Wonder trying to stare him down, trying to take him down before help can arrive. Oh no, still survives though. Upset, taking an upset. Humanoid diving in, will get him with the King Slayer. But Fnatic have lost two. It's two for two on the top side. And now Rogue are trying to close in. Can they find the kills? They're trying to base here, I think. They're going to get the recalls Last off. Can Larson stop them? Flash, charm, wide. Humanoid misses the Amscon. They're ducked as well. But Humanoid You're denies right. on the tribute. That's one. He's looking to make it three. Can he make the outplay to win the game? Oh, yeah. That's two. Humanoid, you absolute monster. Right, of course, off screen in the little pit, you can see this little skirmish happening. We don't have time because the Baron has now begun. We're in another fight. TP coming by Rogue as they look to try and turn this around. It's last hope, it's last vestige of any life for them in this game. You have to feel Wonder stepping forward, has the call of the Porch God as well. He gets the knockoff of his pop. There's a tidal wave coming in as well. But Cop has to try and dash and dodge away, but he just can't do it. Hillisang takes it, closes the book on game one. And Fnatic once again just take Rogue to the cleaners. It's going to be Baron Rogue inevitably had to walk in. Comp no flash and Wonder finds him with the knockoff. Fantastic engages from the top laner of Fnatic. Good follow up. Fnatic, you talked about it earlier over the last seven years. Only three mid laners have stood atop Europe. Their names are Perks, Caps, and Humanoid. And this man is looking to do it once more. Larson forced to disengage. Upset has his eyes on another kill. But Fnatic now with the Baron. 10k gold lead are looking to secure game one in this best of five. And Fnatic playing on two lanes right Not now. Not much wave clear. Fnatic pushing in. Baron, as you say, still a minute remaining on it. That will be the inhibitor tower in the mid lane going down. Comp maybe getting chased away here. You can see Wonder looking for it. Fishing for it. Lands a knockup onto Comp once again. And Comp's just down. Wonder just assassinates him with the help of Humanoid. Now Rogue running for the hills, but there's nowhere for them to go. Upset will chase them. Larson, the last one standing, but he just can't do anything into the five-man might of Fnatic. That's going to be it, isn't it? They're pushing down mid, they're pushing down Bob. 27-minute game. Upset's looking for the 1v1 onto Larson's going to hop over the wall. Should be able to pick that one up as they continue the siege down mid. 30 seconds on Maorang, 20 seconds on Comp. It's been a statement on the TP from Humanoid. He says, well, Larson, you have one game over me and I head to head. I'm making sure we're evening out the score here. <laughs> Humanoid joins. Steel. Upset takes it before Humanoid can do anything about it. But Fnatic make a statement in game one as they absolutely dismantle and demolish Rogue. Touch-ups of stats, of course, before they kill the Nexus. But Fnatic will close this one out just under 28 minutes. The only time Rogue was really favored was that first bus to top. From that point onwards, it was Fnatic moving when Rogue should have been the one there. And they ran away with going to bot, getting upset ahead, and then Humanoid just clutching the entire game ready. And there were a lot of little things that really stood out. The flash early from Razor, trading in for Larson to set up Humanoid for that play. The engages that we saw from Wonder. Upset being able to find that double kill in the mid lane. A lot of little things that came together all surrounded by Humanoid's phenomenal. The issue with I have with Fnatic's draft is the lack of frontline in a way, right? The Poppy will be a good frontline, uh, but the Aatrox can't really merit himself as a frontline. Both top laners want to do the same things in finding backlines, right? The only yes. benefit... As you say, behind them here, Cage, we'll see if Comp and Trimby respect it the way. Not in the best of places for them. A little bit too far up in the lane as Comp pushes forward once again. I think they're going to get ganked here. How can Rogue react? They'll spot him now. Trimby, Polymore, Steadfast doesn't coming out as well. Trimby's going to try and flash away for the hammer. Comes down and upset. 
takes first blood. So healthy, Razzle from the main right. position here. No heal, remember, on the road. Bot lane, they've got the cleanse and the ignite. Odo does have TP to try and join this. Trimpy too far away from the wall. Locked up, and Razzle has to run for the hills. No the flash upset. The TP's coming out. Upset with no flash. Nowhere for him to go. He flashed forward, dashes away, though. Larson's still on the chase. Upset trying to get away from this one. Doesn't have a way to get over any more walls. As Hillisang doesn't land a slow either. A great ultra shock laser coming out from Elsa, but he will be chased down by Cobb. But the heels and the shields and the barrier is enough to keep Upset alive. Chaos Storm towards the top side, chases Razzle away with the smite on the dragon, he survives as well. Razork, 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 bow down to the jungle king. He bought so much time. Upset would have died there if Larson could gap close in. Razork didn't have enough flash. Wonders fighting Malrang. Yeah, he's just a little bit overstepped here, a little bit overstayed. No flash on him, and Malrang will head him over the head with the bats and take the first cut of the game. For Before on the top side, Larson wants this blue buff, almost has ult. I think Rogue should contest this. Fnatic just getting away with a herald here would be a disaster for Rogue. Hilly has flash coming up soon. Coming going down onto Hilly, oh, trying to get away. Good movement from him, but Maron coming in with a pillar now, but Humanoid's the first move from the mid lane. Knocked away with the Keeper's Verdict, that subjugate is going to take though, it's Hillisang, able to force away. Uh, the shot break coming out of the last one as well as Upset dives forward, but Maron's going to trade on him and Upset, you got nowhere to go! Larson takes him with the Chaos Storm, with Chaos killed up by Fnatic, as Razork's able to walk away with the eye. A bit of over-aggression there from Upset, but Fnatic still walk away with the Herald. They're immediately going to rotate over to mid, they know that Larson has no flash, and he doesn't have the HP to hold. Fnatic looking to secure their first tower of the game. Larson's ult was two seconds away the second he stepped up to try and kill Hilly. If he had that, Hilly would have died, but he might die now. Flash, chop, Hillisang, though! The shields and the heals are just too low! Oh, no. knocked away, Oda looking for the flank position here as well. They're investing everything into killing Hilly, and they will take him down. That tasted purple. Finally get the kill onto Hilly. The movement was clean on. That kill also goes over to Larson, setting him up for the next two minutes. It's a deja vu from game one, really, isn't it? Rogue get a kill, Fnatic get a Herald, and Fnatic got a dragon as well. Upset a bit confused as what happened there in the fight. They will get this dragon now back to live. Trippy, ooh, almost gets it with the bubble, but two neutrals for Towards the top side, Odo one able to slice away from this. One man coming down towards one side, but Wonder trading in here. Dominus Pop, World Ender coming out as well. Who wins it out? Wonder forces the flash out of Odo. Wonder with the poker face. He knew he would go oh, flash Larson's there, but Larson's, Larson's here. here. Wonder still has flash. Humanoid's on the chase. So Humanoid spots him. Wonder can get underneath his tower. The siphon power into a Chaos Storm can do a lot of work. There's the death ray coming out. There's the Chaos Storm. Wonder shut down. Couldn't get away. And just going back to my point. The TP's available for both top laners. Where will they go? Ran uh, Odo on, they're looking to base. Humanoid are going to try and join the team here. Maorang stepping forward. Keep his verdict going down. Knocks away Maorang. Do Rogue still look to fight? Tied away across the board. And Humanoid then looks to Shut down Humanoid, but he has to flash away. Dragon was secured. Odo looks at the flank position here. As Wonder's going to be the midst of three members of Rogue. Maorang's still trying to make his way back towards his team. Rogue unable to get onto the back line. Fnatic just getting away with one from Razzle because he tries to disengage his fight once again. Fnatic all survive, but they do lose the tier one in the bot lane. Humanoid's freezing top and he has TP to match, but Rogue are committing so many numbers that Fnatic can't find an angle for him to TP in. There was only really the tower because flanking is a bit too dangerous. The knockback will slow the siege down by getting the cannon minion. But Pop is very low on mana. Rogue has to be careful. Oh, Maorang! They just wow. assassinate Razork, he was there, you blink, you missed it, he's gone. Rogue gonna get, take their second tier two of the game, accelerate this game even further. They have a 3,000... turn a fight around. All it takes is your on soul point and you lose the fight and then you can yep. lose the game from there. Odo trying to trade with Wonder Rock towards the top side. Oh, TP, TP coming in as well, deep as well as Wonder. Realizes he might be in a little bit of a precarious situation. You wonder though, TP's up to the top side, so he's kind of abandoned his teammate here. I think Fnatic as well have abandoned the dragon. Wonder will fall, he'll go down. Humanoid looking to get some gold back on the map. Rogue looking is... the most comfortable they have for a while. And this is the three lane setup that they struggle against G2 with. Yep. They're finally now able to play on three lanes, play through mid laners. Game one, we saw Humanoid with his control and how they then moved that around the map. We're seeing the same thing again with Larson. Oh, oh, Fnatic looking for a fight. Jimmy flashes early. Razzle still on the chase. They'll keep his verdict. Goes between the uprights. He scores a goal, but perhaps only one Fnatic needed in the fight. Razzle gave to get away, but Odo One is going to stun him up. Who's the predator? Enough. Larson takes another. Odo One, they want more. And with the jungler down, you have to deal. They'll put their eyes on the Baron. The biggest question was can Rogue bounce back? Can they perform here in Sweden in front of thousands of people? And the answer looks like yes for now. They're going to start off this Baron. Fnatic, three man strong. They don't have the shockwave. It's on upset and Hilly. Trimby's going to get the plan to heal up. Not a lot of ultimates to work with for Rogue. None at all. Ultra Shock Blades are coming out, but it only tickles Maorang in the pit. Upset trying to step forward with the Lightning Crash, gets that movement speed.
stacking up last and no chaos storm for him, but he does have a fire. hitting. If he's looking for a little bit more than Batman, still at 4,000 HP. Upset trying to do what he can. Comp dashes forward. Oh. Killer Tank four slow, but Upset still very healthy. Right. And Humanoid in the side. The Shockwave up in one. Zero seconds left on it for the Baron. Secured by Rogue. Humanoid looks for the Shockwave, only finds it onto one. And they will manage to pick up a kill, but Fnatic trying oh, to find more. Humanoid looking for more. Trying to get onto Trimby. He will do it, but he'll fall in response. Rogue get one, and they get the Baron. They get the Baron indeed. And pressure this base. 40 seconds left on this Baron, though. No ultimate on Humanoid, no ultimate on Razor. That'll help them in the siege. Trimby doesn't have the buff, so it's Comp who has to give it. Has to Gale Force. Oh my god, Comp! Oh, what a move to make. Dashes forward and dashes the hopes of Fnatic to defend that inhibitor tower. He's looking to even this one out. Fnatic, though, they're posturing. They're looking for the pick. Upset goes in. Next gate. Old Shock Laser as well. Not to Comp. The Aquapism and dodge. Upset going in. Oh with the lightning crash. That's one. Let's do. Razzle on the chase of Blast and the Maorang had to call for the retreat. Overwhelmingly trying to get him from the side as well. The stopwatch from Maorang would only Upset's delay the inevitable. Upset still on the chase. Two quick kills to him. The Chaos Storm ticking away as Overwhelmingly still trying to get him behind this fight. But Fnatic just battle them down. Have Rogue thrown it all away? Has Fnatic found that single window to get back into this game? Because this is a dragon. This is going to put them on Dragon Soul Point and upset now three kills on the Zeri. Oh my word, bro. They got too confident. They overstayed their welcome and Fnatic. She fell during that siege from Rogue. They were able to crack two of the inhibitor towers, but they have yet to take down one of those inhibs. Trimby in, here, uh -oh. on ward, flash knock into the wall, and Trimby down. Sashimi for dinner. Go down and how fast does Fnatic gone. react to the start? They're going to go for it. Does Odoame TP on this top wave? Odo can keep into the control ward yeah. there, yeah, by the blue buff. Odo takes the dragon, keeps his murder, goes gone. wide there. Marang has flash, he's got smite. This Cops is got it. some damage as well as Wonder goes in, but the tidal wave's gonna stop him in his tracks. Look at Odo, look at Odo. Odo. Forward and the dragon has been reset. Odo waiting in the bush, waiting in the darkness, and he gobbles up Fnatic. Killer Sang already down. The Baron not yet fully reset, some thousand HP on it. Upset trying to do what he can across the wall. Humanoid could look for the behind nope. the back door shockwave, but he's already used his ultimate, so he can't find that. Shockwave's down, upset very low on mana. It's only right. He decided to just secure the kill onto Hilla Sang. He doesn't take any gambles, he just gets that oh, wow. pick. Now they move back towards the Baron. Humanoid shockwave is back up. Right, Odo right. on zoning business. Does he yeah, have vision? Good enough. He's looking for the command attack, but he's not there in time. Rogue secure the Baron. Let's find the flash W's. Execution is pivotal in these situations. Fnatic holding the line. But for how much Shot Shot away. Away. He's dead. Shut down! Razzle tries to flash forward as well, but Larson can still turn this one around. Has so much damage on the victim, and it's all on him, you have to feel. Odo Omni slicing his way away from Wonder down towards the bottom side. Upset. And Fnatic have at least delayed this, but Odo dives in! And upset over stepped! Rogue find an archery kill on the enemy AD carry, and Wonder will fall as well. Rogue find two, and with Baron remaining for 40 seconds, they're gonna look to crack the base. Upset's confidence has been his downfall this series as Odo Omni shuts him down. Beautiful play from Rogue as they're looking to break into the base of Fnatic once more. I don't know if they can end, but they can definitely get three inhibitors. Hill is so low, is he gonna die here? He might have to use a flash. Razork's gonna fall. Flash away for the ruthless predator. Finds his man. Odo takes him out. Hill down. I don't want Odo on the clock. Sends a message to Fnatic. Don't mess with these jaws. Maran going forward as well as Humanoid has to flash away, but Rogue have struck back in this series with control through basically the entire game. A couple of mistakes won't fail them this one. And Humanoid dies in the end, Rogue take the ace. And Malmo, we have a series on our hands. Things looked a little shaky for Rogue at the very start, but immediately they bounce back. Sure, there were a couple blunders here and there, but they were able to stay calm, stay controlled, and equalize the series one-to-one. -one. We won't see a repeat of last year. We won't see a repeat of last split. Both of these teams are head-to-head -head as we move into game three. Positioning is everything in these fights. You can see both AD carries going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, confident. It won't matter again. They, they will just farm up both of them. So I actually think GP is a good pick here because he has a free lane. But yeah, I'm not sure about uh, the lack of frontline here. Because if they by any means fall behind, they have no one to tank anything. And dive bot with a GP ult while you do Herald. So Rogue bot lane needs to be very careful here. They don't have any vision to work with. They see Malrang is on this Herald. They could do one more win. He can dive in. He can dive in. Oh, oh, coming out. This is the first knock up. Looking for two. The Brits are Oh my god! Blood. It's a solo for Odo on Orn. And it's not just a solo kill. He's tower diving. The scale. Sure, losing the first Drake would not be ideal, but. 
I think they don't need to force it. Instead, just clear out what vision you can, know that you have the scaling advantage, know that you've got a pretty good advantage in the top lane as well. The, top the beauty of it is, is Odo got two plates already, so this Herald Crash will kill the tower. This is going to be a full first blood tower, two rogue. They're going to push out top. We'll see if they can crash it into tier two or if Upset can hold they the line. Often been first on the objective. They've been very good at controlling these neutrals. Contrary to what we often see from them, sometimes they can struggle to secure it. Well, might go towards that redemption as well. Force of nature, similar kind of build we saw last game. So Odo Amni's on a tank, not on Renekton. Cop and Larson are so important in these fights. Silence gets to flash out just in time. The Equinox was just a little bit short from the wall. Chimby low, up, up towards the side as well as Hillisang steps forward. Look for more. Wild goes on Hillisang to flash forward, but Hillisang, what on earth was that? What? Did, did Hilly just try to flash knock up four Shockwave. people on Lulu? Now on the humanoid, humanoid can't get away. Hillisang maybe thought he was playing Pike or something. He was just too aggressive as Razzle dives in, but all of them are alive. There's no Kentek. Odo, more slow. Arset will take him, but Hilly was just way too deep. Well, Fnatic still have the pressure despite losing the fight. Oh, hang on. Oh, they pushed up. Stop Q. him! Boom! Oh, Wonder's gun finds its mark and keyholes. Trimby. Hillisang, as confused as we are, his comms are, just go guys, they're doing game. Oh, Marang knocked into the wall here. Chase is on, his last one looks for upset as well. Spell shield. Shockwave. Shockwave pulls him back to keep his verdict short once again and takes the kill. Ripped out was TP'd on by Odo one day to make sure that it couldn't get knocked back as well. Yeah, really good TP there, really good spots by Medic, of course, and he's gonna, they're gonna look for this mid tier one with the Herald. Maybe they can threaten the tier two. Seaver is so much of your wave clearing, they're trying to zone away Humanoid from stopping to get to this mid tier two in time. 30 seconds on the Dragon, that'll be the exit objective for Rogue, but they're not done here, looking for an engage. All of the Forge Gods coming across, the second with Cloud Charge coming in as well. Third HP on that tower in the mid lane. Grazzle looking for something once again, but it's only on to Odo Wamne, not ready to tank his target. But he's quite tanky, in fact. Cannabrage comes down, forces Odo Wamne low, but looks Trimby just healing him up over and over again. Just blesses him with a little bit of a star fall, and Odo able to walk out of that one. You can tell by player movement that Odo Wamne is one calling the shots. He's the one stepping up. They might look for Hilly again here as well. No flash, of course, Comp. Nowhere for him to go. The lightning crash comes out. The polymorph, not enough. Equinox with the silence. Wild growth just in time. Hinnasang still alive, and Maorang slaps him over the back with a bat. And that's enough. Maorang now over. Step with the wish into the flash. Gets Maorang out. The Troll King doing exactly that for Rogue. The chase still continues. Instead, they decide to back away and make sure they get this third dragon of the game. Fnatic are just being bullied around the map as Rogue sees further control. The sustain from Trimby is just too much for Fnatic to deal with. And with only four members alive, Razork does take a lot of damage, but will be sent to safety. Wonder's going to be forced back as well. Again. Look at the poke. It's been actually investing so much into trying to contest this. Razzle stepping Razzle forward. Gets Maybe here. they know that this is their only hope. Is they Hang get on the a minute. Soul. He has Marang access. now by himself in the pit. The subject coming down. They're going to try and kill Marang before he can get onto the dragon. He's so low, but the heels over the wall. The, the astral infusion of life into Marang. Keep his verdict wide. And Marang gets it. Fnatic put all their eggs in the basket. He's still alive. Oh, and eventually they will only take Maorang's life. Does Fnatic go towards Baron? Looks like it's just Larson alone for the next few seconds to spot out the rest of Fnatic. The Blue Orb sees it, 7k HP. Say a prayer to the Forge God, because Odo wants a piece of this action. He steps in, but knock up, look at the human order, and take a look at the Baron. Secured by Fnatic, flash away by Upton, flash away by Razzle. Hillisang walks to the back of the pit and then realize he doesn't have a flash to stand on. Three kills over the Rogue, but Razzle and Upset looking to get out alive as Comp continues the chase. Trimby can heal him across the wall here, Razzle stepping forward. Trimby with the heels, the shields, the Immortal Shield bow as well. Ultra oh, shot laser just wide, as Brett from taking down the jungler. The back and forth. They have a top wave coming in. They're just going to look for a siege here because Rogue's tempo is in the pavement. They stayed so long to try and get that top tier two and they were pushed away. Comp is in base. Wonder has GPO, but Odo Amne is trying to force. He misses the knockout. Hillisang like a shock wave. Immediately Hillisang is down. Quarter of the Portugal coming out. Odo Amne just to disengage. Oh. Keep his verdict. We'll knock him away. But the tower will remain. Hillisang once again caught out by Rogue. Yes. So it's going to be on this next Baron where Majority of the game is decided. Can Rogue just start it up and force Fnatic to walk in, use the Ornold, get the Lulu side of this matchup, and got the better hand of Humanoid. And again, in this Control Mage meta, in this, not meta so much, but in this Control Mage series meta of trades of Oriana and Victor, it's where Larson, he's the one who's looking for that title. So, Fnatic, push back, Razor. Might be in a bit of trouble, but he's going to use the W to stop the Orni from knocking him up. Fnatic trying to contest this push as much as possible, but the Ornold's going to come out. Call of the coming out. Keep his verdict knocked him back, but still the knocker coming down. And there's the chase, and they're looking for the first kill. Wonder down. Those barrels won't mean much. 
as Wonder is sent packing. Fnatic start still trying to posture, trying to defend against the possible Baron from Rogue. Wonder full glass cannon, he's full crit right now. He only has a shield bow as any kind of defensive tool. So if they carries of Rogue can get on top of him, he's as good as dead. And that's exactly what happened now. It's a 4v5 contest on a Baron, and they have no ultimates to work with, barring a defensive on a Pilisang. The silence from Trimby was so instrumental. Wonder didn't even get a chance to use anything. Razzled though, no flash. Can he get into the peak? No he's not going to. That's a Baron for Rogue. Will they turn and fight? They're just going to disengage. Engage. Rogue secure themselves another bit at a time. And Fnatic can hold the line for now. Pressure on two lanes, 1-4 by Rogue. The objective here for them is this bomb inhibitor, but it's also this dragon in one minute. They need to make sure they don't get caught or picked off. Marowan caught a little bit by Razzle, because the subjugate down caught of the force got used as well, and now the chase begins. But Comp with a lightning crash. One just has to flash across the wall. Keep his word, is gonna knock back one, but Comp is on the chase, and Comp finds one. Sends Wonder to Davy Jones's locker, and now he's trying to make it to his ups chase away. All of Fnatic retreating, and Comp the only one needed. He dives into the base, though, but Alpha's over step, Alpha's over step. Comp, Comp low, Immortal Shield Bow, heals him back up. It's enough for Comp, it's enough for Rogue. As after they lost game one, they are having none of it. Rogue looking for match points. Trimby follows Comp into the battlefield and keeps him alive. The Soraka Zeri bot lane is going to send Fnatic to the afterlife and we're going to be pushed into match point as Rogue will take down Fnatic. Slow and steady wins the race. They have a very clear game plan coming into this scaling front to back team fight. Don't get caught out, don't get lost in the chaos. And now Rogue are sitting at one game away from the finals tomorrow. One game away from locking group stage in New York at the World Championship. And it was a very clean performance by them. Didn't give Fnatic any options, no early game shenanigans going on. And now the question is, how does Fnatic change it up? They've run back this... Well, upset was even in the fight. This time around against a Jarvan Oriana, he needs to be even more careful because that flash can get punished so much easier. Fnatic have a lot of engage with the Sejuani. The Azir can be playmaking, really good scaling, but again, you've drafted... He's thinking about warding, but he hasn't placed one down just yet. Otto can flash W, Malran can land the combo. The question is... Will Wonder survive it? I think they have the damage to pull it off, and they're going to go for it now. He just uses the E. Slices forward, second slice. There's a the knockup with the EQ combo, and Wonder! First of blood to Wonder Wonder! Doesn't drop a ward there, Wonder. I think he Wonder used... Who can bail them out? The question remains. Odo Ami, I'm not sure if he has TP up. I don't think he does. Here comes the dive. Can they execute? Let's have a look. See, Flash Polymorph once again. Hillisang trying to get away from this one. Dodging away from the minion shots. Comes up so much. That's one. Hillisang didn't tank it up, so that's not two. But still, Trimby able to take him down and now upset. Underneath the tower, chased away by a very angry fish. Trimby cosplaying a little bit. There's a shark here, but the old truck lasers. Turn it back around. One more Q would be enough. The aggro press of the oh, upset. Upset. Is coming. Marang is behind. Upset those sums. Can he execute? Oh, Marang wants this. Marang. No slow from the Aegis, did he, he get it? The slow, no. gets it. But that will still be a two for three trade in favor of Rogue. Trading top Getting well. a number of kills on the bot side of the map. Rogue has to be feeling good. Well, no summoning spells to use the there, exchange yeah. here. The biggest problem that Rogue have is that Lars and TP back into the mid wave, but it's Humanoid that actually has the prior. It's off of the wave in mid. I wonder how close he is, but he's going to walk into this river with Wunder behind him. And the fact that Larson's been pushed back means that three people can collapse onto this Herald. If Maran EQs out, this Herald's gone, so he wants to stay there as long as possible. EQing forwards even, looking well, for Wunder so in the mid lane. Neither of the Fnatic bot laners have come up to join this. The Cataclysm coming down, and Rogue will have five members up towards the top side yeah. with the Shockwave pulling Wunder back and the Culling coming in as well. Com now with the second kill of the game in the Rift Herald, going over the road. And we talked about this earlier, we saw the reset coming in from Comp. Anything happened, you can see how isolated he is yeah, in the top them. lane. They're formatting top, I think he's going to die here. They can TP in as well, Odo one mate. They can put down a ward, of course you can TP to the flag, even though trying to get away from us down the sun. There's TP in point. Fnatic as they try and defend their mid lane. And Man an incredible cataclysm to get away from the Emperor's Divide. And now Wonder on the wrong side of the Rift, Zodo looks to chase him down. The rest are Rogue up towards this top side. Hedasan's going to try and join Wonder, maybe speed him up, has the Shirelias, but realizes he needs to get the hell out of dodge as he dodges away from Trimby and Comp. The Manic seem a little bit split on their decision, making pings towards the Dragon are coming down, but they want to keep Wonder alive. Razzle going in, Comp cleanses away from the Glacial Prism, but the chase is on and the tidal wave has been used. Razzle so tanky as Upset joins the fray. Wonder forced down towards the bottom side, Larson will take him out. They need to get something out of this Fnatic. They've invested so much and they do get a shutdown onto Upset. But now Upset, Razzle can hit a Sang behind enemy lines. Let's see if they can manage to get out of this they one. They need to let the Zeri stacks fall off. Oh, Malrang with the combo! The EQ combo from Malrang! Finds upset. Cop goes on a killing spree. He's looking for one more with Razzle. He's alive! As well. He will to TP it in. He's going to dodge no out of the now. In the enemy jungle, caught out in the midst of Rogue. And they wipe away for
even at it. And just like that, Rogue find themselves five kills. The ace will be delayed because Humanoid comes back to life. But don't forget that this started in the top lane, ended in Rogue's jungle, and Rogue will walk away 10 to 3. Sang knows that he's going to try to spot him out. They get the crab as well. It looks like Maring's going to dash forwards for it and actually steals it away. And now Oduamne. Yeah, the Sang stepping into Oduamne. Humanoid there as well. Emperor's Divide going to separate them. Razzle being caught out. Wonder in the middle of the pit does have the flash and uses it to get out. In goes Malrang, Razor, Glow, the Karnak oh as well, the Cataclysm locks him up, and Malrang just too damn tanky for Fnatic to work their way through. Humanoid falls as well, and Fnatic tried to disengage, but Rogue were not having any of it. Good decisiveness from Malrang there, EQ's in, gets Humanoid's Flash, doesn't hesitate, Flash ults on top of him to make sure Rogue can follow up, the Culling is enough range. That's sole point for Rogue, do they want to go Baron here? I feel like yeah, looking at Oduamne, he's in a base and TP, so Wunder's going to try to stop him. Infernal chance going down, Oduwamne flashes away from it, Upset flashes forward as well, Ruth is punished with a possible stun here, Oduwamne still pretty tanky, but he will get shut down by okay. Upset. That stops the Baron play, good play there by Fnatic, now does Rogue want to chase this down, Hilly needs to be very careful, he has the flash, Malrang no flash or ult, so Hilly should be able to escape this one if he decides to flash away, but Larson's coming down from the top side and he has flash of his own, he has a flash QW if he wants to look for it, but is it worth to kill this Lulu, Malrang says no yes. Shockwave, they go for Hillisang and Hillisang will fall, Larson takes the kill. Pinks, look at the TP behind them on the lane. Okay, Fnatic, it's everything in this. They're doing all they can. The Sun Disc goes down, but there's no Emperor's Divide for Humanoid. Now he's separate from the rest of his team. He dodges away from the EQ combo from Maorang and the Ultra Laser. will clip his heels. Last and low on mana. Rogue really don't have any mana apart from Monkop, who's going to try and turn this one around. He stands forward in the face of Fnatic. He stares down four, and he doesn't allow Fnatic fans here in Malama today. And that energy needs to be felt if Fnatic are going to be able to turn this one around. The pressure is slowly beginning to mount. Fnatic grouping up mid, looking to contest his wave. Good damage from Kong, forces Humanoid back. There's the Cataclysm, Maorang Imichi pops the stop with the tidal wave coming in as well in the shock wave. Just rips Fnatic apart. There is nothing you can do to react to that. Three down for Fnatic as Rogue turn their eyes to the Baron. Maorang sets up the play. Larson lands the three man shock wave. Medic, we're here in Sweden and Larson makes it work. They secure the Baron. Rogue is looking to dominate Fnatic. They are indeed. An upset wasn't even in that fight. He was split away the second the engage came through. He didn't have flash of his own. It was him and Humanoid or Humanoid alone. He's kind of on the Zeri. This is all they can work with. This is all they've got. They've got this is their last chance. 30 seconds between you and no more LEC this year. 30 seconds between Rogue and Finals. A matchup against G2 for them once again would be the second of the year. Of course, last time they didn't have the best of showings, but Fnatic want to make it. The only time is the Glacier oh! Wizard. But again, the Cataclysm! Mao Rang finds his mark! And that's exactly what Rogue were looking for. Upset trying to do what he can with the lightning crash. Oh no, there with the Rooster Predator. And Upset cannot get away! Rogue, Route Fnatic, Humanoid can only stand and watch as Larson here in Malmo steps up. The Swede does it all! In his home country, in the best of five, it's Larson that puts Rogue on his back next to Malrang. Comp 9 and 1 on Lucian. A huge step up for Rogue. A huge upset, you have to imagine. If you look at the, the predictions from all the analysts from social media, everyone thought Fnatic would take this, but it's Rogue's day today. Only Razorg and Hillisang between Rogue and a date with Destiny. G2 await tomorrow and Razorg and Hillisang can only stand and watch. They look for Trinby, but Rogue defend him. Wonder now up, the minions pushing in and Rogue cannot close it out yet. Good delay by Razzle, good delay. That 1% chance that they can do it, but Rogue dominating the top lane, dominating the bot lane, two inips down, the last inip will be in mid where Fnatic have to fight it, otherwise it's as good as done. I mean, Comp is standing solo in the enemy base, and now with the minion waves pushing into the mid lane, upset forced away, Infernal Chain's gonna go down, Wonder looking for a couple of knockups here, the Aatrox doing a little bit of damage, but Odo they still back up to half HP, Razzle forced away, the third inhibitor, the target for Rogue, they are doing this one by the book, they're painting by the numbers, and Humanoid stunned up with the Ruthless Predator Mao there. there for the follow-up, and the Emperor's Divide will not separate Rogue from their prize. Comp dashing forward. Hillisang Low comes and has the GA to come back to life here. Even though he's pulled back, Comp will resurrect. That's it. And Rogue's hopes resurrected alongside him. Upset trying to get away from this one. Puts the electro shot rate laser out, but he just can't do enough. Razzle already dead. Wonder down to half. Mauer dashing in. Odo in the midst of the wall as well as Wonder will fall. Larson takes him. The Nexus now is the target. And Rogue revived after losing to G2. We're not willing to give up their prize. They will battle G2 in 
in the final. Larson in front of his home crowd will make the upset happen. They will silence the doubters and Rogue will have another shot at the LEC title. Tomorrow they will go up against G2, but today they can celebrate their victory over Fnatic. What an unbelievable performance from Rogue. After game one, I think all of us thought this was going to be a tough series for them.